Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new Saturday Night Chiller. On the show, we take a look at random scary videos on YouTube. Some of them that might be sent by you. Please don't hesitate to put in the comments below if you found any kind of scary video that you want me to react to. Put it in the comments below. What are you waiting for? Now, if you remember from the last episode, I said that I wanted to do a special series where we watch a classic reality show from MTV called MTV's Fear. We're going to be taking a look at episodes of Fear over the next couple of episodes of Saturday Night Chiller. MTV's Fear is a reality show where five contestants are chosen to investigate a haunted area. Each contestant is sent on a mission or a dare to investigate any kind of paranormal activity. If that person can't complete the dare, they are then sent home and they lose any chance on winning the prize money, which is awarded to the contestants at the end of the mission. This show was crazy and I absolutely adored it. The show ran on MTV from 2000 to 2002. MTV's fear is kind of like... Uh, I don't know, Big Brother meets Ghost Hunters. And it's been said that MTV's Fear was the show that apparently started the whole paranormal investigative reality show thing. So without further ado, kick back, relax, grab yourself some snacks. I got my Rockstar uh, Total Zero. <laughs> and let's take a look at the very, very first episode of MTV's Fear. Fear, which aired on September 21st, 2000. In this episode, the contestants are assigned to investigate paranormal activity in a haunted prison, West Virginia State Penitentiary. Let's go. 120 years old, overcrowded, and has more than once been the site of an inmate rebellion. Yo, I love this series. This series is so dope. Hold up. Do, 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 do. I don't want to get hit with a copyright strike. I'm not the one who's so far away when I fear the snake by enter my head. Never did I want to be here again, and I don't matter what I can. Okay, we stop. Okay. I'm Steve from uh, Buffalo Park, Pennsylvania. These are real people. These are all the contestants. I'm 19, and I'm from La Cunata, California. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm Mark. I'm from Long Island, New York. My name is Ryan, and I'm from Montclair, California. My name is Christina. I'm from Huntington Beach, California. I don't know yeah. how I got here. I'm about to set off uh, an adventure of newfound knowledge into the world of uh, the paranormal. They told me that I was going to be going on a ghost hunt. I think I'm going. Maybe Look out for that kid. Someplace a little spooky. <laughs> he was the best. We're all going to have camera equipment attached to us. Like, so that we don't have to hold it. And there's not going to be any cameramen or cast and crew or whatever. It's just going to be us. We're the cast. That, the that's it. We're the cameramen. We're going to be strapped up with the vest. They're going to be led to a, a safe room. We're sleeping during the day. They don't know how yeah, gonna they're go going to, to get there. They're just going to be led there and the left computer. there. And this computer is going to give us these tasks. I believe in ghosts. I word, believe word. in the paranormal and spirits and hauntings. I personally don't think they're out there. I just think... They're just head games. I believe that our brains possess electromagnetic waves which create certain things to happen. Yes, I do believe in ghosts. 
I'm open to it because, you know, it can't happen. It can't happen. I was always taught that no one knows the future except for God, so I'm trying to stick with that. It makes my life easier. This place is really haunted. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be really haunted. Or word. It's real, this place has a history of being, you know, of, of like haunted. <laughs> I sense them. Um, I can feel them around me. I just don't want to piss the ghost off, so I'm just going to keep it cool, you know. Hopefully I will be able to get something documented. Good. Tomorrow we'll, we'll see. We'll get it all on tape. Oh, it's yeah. Be a fun time. See you later. Apparently, that's the hotel that they're staying at. Oh, this is going to be so freaking cool. Yep, that's for real. They, they put the bags over their heads. They are led to their safe room. Or led to wherever they're led to. Here they go. This is where we are. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. The place is real, the people are real, all the events oh are true. God. Now, a lot of people, you know, they, they doubted the validity of the show. I believe that they're 100%. Six people, they don't know each other, they've never been here before. Their objective to determine if the place is haunted or not. No cameramen, no crew, only a prison surveillance system. They film their own experiences, they are alone. Here's the chapel, the safe house. This is where they're going to be chilling. Wait, I thought we were going to a haunted house. This probably is it. Is it haunted? Yeah. Where is it? 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 Okay, begin your stay by clicking on the video button above to access the video. We're watching the video. Welcome to the West Virginia State Penitentiary. Built in 1866, for decades it was called one of America's most violent prisons. Condemned and abandoned in 1995, it has since become known as one of the most supernaturally active areas in the country. Mm. Yes, I'd say this is probably, uh, has had more killings on 10 acres of land than most any place in the United States. If you died in prison, uh, it was, it was, uh, it was like your, your spirit was, was destined to just wander the hallways of the prison, never to be free. Yeah, there's wow. definitely something hostile down here, but it keeps moving away from me. Mm. A really, really angry presence, and I can feel it just keeps backing away. If there's ever a place that was haunted, this place should really be haunted. There's definitely something in the energetic makeup of very haunted places that will wreak havoc with electrical and mechanical equipment. Mm -hmm. And once in a while you get a howling of wind. Where that comes from, I have no idea. Because there's no wind. There's not, you know. Now, no I'm going to tell you about that, no that computer. Cleaner underground here. This is their home. When this that computer sends the contestants here, on their little dares, their the computer sounds scary. <laughs> Your mission over the next four nights will be to determine if the prison is in fact haunted. Your investigation will take you to six locations in the prison where supernatural activity has been reported. Oh my you must abide by four key rules. One, you must follow the instructions on this website in your investigation of each supernatural hotspot. Yeah. Two, use your camera equipment to document your experiences at all times. Three, if and only if you complete both nights of the investigation, you will each be paid $3,000. 3000 Yeah. Four, if you decide to quit, you'll be paid nothing, and another team member must be selected to complete your assignment. Wow. Your challenge tonight is to familiarize yourself with the six supernatural areas. The person in each spot is to remain for a minimum of 15 minutes, observing carefully for any signs of a supernatural presence and reporting their findings. Sometimes the most effective way to begin a ghost hunt is to go into a place, sit down quietly, and tune into the energies of the place. Yep. You will begin in the prison's north yard, site of the first three hot spots, the infirmary, the Alamo, and the hole. Your investigation mm. begins now. Good luck. You Good luck. Do you hear the voice of that computer? <laughs> you must go downstairs into the basement and get scared to death. Oh, if you leave, floor, you forfeit your money. <laughs> you ain't getting jacked.
five. All right, 14. That's 10. Okay, yeah, they are provided a safety person and a navigator. I got See you later. Let me get lined up here. Night one. Destinations and then off. This episode was broken up into different videos. So I'll have to edit everything together. Here we go. Going to the North Yard, y'all. Here they go. I don't claim any religion, but if I were to be one, I would probably be a Catholic Celtic witch. And you're going to stop in front of the administration building. Okay, let's do it. Yo, girl. Yeah. Pray for me. Pray for me. Fear is something that you don't want to materialize. That's right. I'm just preparing myself for what we're getting ready to do. R Watch Ryan. Hopefully I'll Ryan rocks in this episode, <laughs> man. Can you guys hear me? Ariana, let me know when you get yeah. there. Over. Yeah, we hear you. Okay, you know what to do. Just explore a little bit, film a little bit, make sure your batteries and tapes are all set up. My greatest fear, I guess, is man's greatest fear, and your fear is the unknown. My greatest fear is definitely death. Dead people scare me, like cemeteries scare me. I don't like hospitals. That's all. I'll get back to you in a minute, Ariana. Over. I'm just the type of person I don't believe anything really till I really witness it myself. And it's always those people that, like, they get scared the most, right? All right, here we go. It's like you don't believe in ghosts? Get around some. The away team has 60 seconds to choose a person to go into the hole. Choose now. Uh oh. Is that the hole? <laughs> choose a person to go in the hole, yo. I, I think so. That was it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Steve, this is Derek. I'm going in, so um, you're talking to me now, buddy. Send the chosen person into the hole. Tell them to explore the hole, but do not leave it. They should be ready to report what they experience. Find and explore the inner punishment the chamber. Hole. Everyone else is laid outside. Find Over. and explore the inner punishment <laughs> chamber. And Safety stay there for 15 minutes. The light post. Do you hear me? Okay. This here was the hole. Uh, the older officers told me that Years ago, they would take them down in here and shock them to the wall. It really uh, reeks of anger and murderous intent. Anybody that went to the hole was in danger. That's right. Anybody. That's what I was told, man. Good luck, sweetie. Even before this, Steve, that place was like me. hell on earth. Are you scared? No, I'm doing good. And can you make me not scared? Oh. There's no reason to be afraid, Al. We're golden. We're good. Just hanging out. It's just like hanging out anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. A prison. Yeah. I'd rather... Oh, man, I don't know. I know what I'm talking about. Who's hanging out at a haunted prison? And we're hanging out. We're hanging out anywhere. A haunted prison. Way to be positive, bro, though. <laughs> oh, the sound effects. Short of execution and illegal beatings, the punishment guards imposed on inmates was the hole. You'd be thrown naked into a freezing dark room and be fed from a pig trough. Your wow. only furniture was a bucket. And it wouldn't be emptied for days. Many inmates lost their sanity here. Over. Wow. Okay, Brian. Wow. You need to go to Great the place to be. <laughs> you know, just a little room. Okay. With a bunch of beds in it. Uh, I think in the back part of it, they had some cells where they could lock people down in it. There was a inmate that was stabbed up down in there pretty bad. Ariana, are you okay? Ooh. Spend 15 minutes alone in the infirmary. I'm scared. Yo, Ryan is like the hero of the whole thing. I <laughs> okay, I see the sign in front of me that says infirmary. Over. Tell me what you see. 
Three, over. All right, I'm walking into the infirmary now. It is very, very dark in here. It's very dark. Over. said that it was their last stand. They had cells back in there built separated from everybody else. This is where Red Snyder and was killed in there and Bobby Jarvis and all of them. That's where they lived back in this one little area. If mm. there is a devil or Satan, he he's working overtime in a place like this. Word, word. It's all a little jittery right now. Yes, we found it. All right, I'm in. Hold on. All right. They all have cameras strapped to them. They must record paranormal activity. Ariano, the island is going to be to Or they lose out on three grand. Oh my God, you guys. It's multi-levels. Okay, there. Wow. Open the door in front of you. And enter the catacombs. Go straight through the two more set. Go straight through two more sets of doors. So you're gonna go through two more sets of doors. Go straight in the hole until you pass a chain link fence. If you shine your light to the right, you'll see a steel bar door. Go through that door. That's the hole. Over. Oh, he's going in the hole. You're in there. He's going in the hole. I'm now in the hole, guys. I am in the hole. Over. Okay, oh, just wait there until I... Infraction. He's in the hole. Okay. Oh, he's not in the hole. Yes, sir. Ariana, how you doing? That I remember. A he... Scared. I don't know if he was cheating or he actually thinks he was in the hole. Somebody told me the blood... But he's not in the hole. The floor where Red Snyder got killed. Red went down there and he stabbed him four or five more times, raped him and hung him out over the third tier and dropped him, busted his head like a pumpkin. I'm sure that people like Red Snyder are probably still there Dang. somewhere. I don't know how they could rest in peace. Dang. minutes of radio silence has begun so now during that time they're probably yeah. going to experience some paranormal stuff Ooh. dead little buddies <laughs> oh my god. All this cold air just flew in here. Oh no. He's not actually in the hole. Oh my goodness, he's gonna lose out. Is anybody talking? Aryan Brotherhood. Woohoo. Hey, Anna, can you hear me? Okay, come on, Ariana. Please, come on. Two minutes to go. Can they make it? Do you not? Do you hear that? There are sounds coming from 
the ceiling. Oh. 15 seconds to go. From up there. Man, I'm just ready to get up out. Okay, 15 minutes is up. I'm out. Woo. They made it. Well, except for one of them. There was one of them that did not stay in the hole. <laughs> I gotta get out of here now. Over. I don't know what just happened. I really have to get out of here. Over. Dare completed, well, except for one of them. I've never been so scared in my life. I don't even know why. I was hearing all these voices. Uh, there was some loud sound doing something. It was going on and off, freaking the hell out of me. Um, I can't believe I just did that. <sighs> now he's over here saying woo. He didn't. He didn't finish. Oh my god. He didn't do it. And now the computer's going to give them the like, results. Yeah, just one more. Just one more. I can do it. Are you guys ready for the next test? Woo! Oh, oh God. My nerves. So I think the scariest missions are going to be the ones where it's like... Do not move through a step until you have completed the previous one, okay? So... First stair is completed. Your exploration will continue with three sites in the south yard. The death row courtyard, the sugar shack, and the electrocution chamber. People who were the last guy. Okay, so they didn't get rid of him. I thought they got rid of him. That's it. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm going out again. You can totally do it. You can totally do it. There is no light in here. Coming up on MTV Sphere. The light everywhere went out. Please. Ooh. No, I guess we're all fairly brave for being here, but I feel pretty wimpy and scared right now. Guys, give me some skin. I'm out of here. Bye, love. All right. Bye. All Dang. right, here we go. Oh, man. Good luck, guys. See you in a little bit. Now the safety is no longer oh, safe. Goddess too. Mustang, this is Voodoo 3. Remaining MIGs are bugging out. Request fly by. Over. <laughs> That's some confidence right, on my Ryan, man. I'm um, walking through the entrance right now, death row, and I see a graveyard. Over. Let me know when you're ready. Over. This here is some crazy. We got a uh, just death row, I guess. Got a couple cells death up and row. down here. Um, guess where these guys spent their time before they were taken to the chair. That's right, light it up. Have a smoke, man. <laughs> I don't think there's any violation with that. <laughs> we'll go to the sugar shack. Now, listen, we here at the show do not uh, promote smoking, but hey, listen. You know, that's the word the people usually get. I'm not judging. Cut up, chopped up. Christina? It says go through the set of double what doors with the dice painted on it. If you gotta do that okay. to chill out, find yourself chill out. Feet down to your right. Just remember lung cancer. Sometimes called the sugar shack hallway. Do you see that? Over. Yes, I'm at the bars. But it's blocked and you can't move. I can't hear you. Can you? Let me know that you hear me. Over now. Give me instructions. Uh-oh. You're facing the steel bar. Right in here. It's a dead end. It's all blocked right up. after you walk through the, the, the dice table. Oh, right here? This? No, it's blocked off right there. That's blocked off. When you get to a point where you feel like... Are the bar. Is this 20 feet ahead from here? It would be that. I don't understand. Tell me where the hell I'm going. Uh oh, she's panicking. Or the, the, the heaven, I'm going. Uh. All it says is you're facing the steel bars and you see oh, to the right your hallway. So I'm assuming that maybe that is the right, the hallway to the right of the steel bars. Over. Okay. <laughs> she's panicking, man. So she's going to be fussing and cussing. Instructions, please, and make them quick. Uh, 
Huh? Says, take the hallway till you reach the end. The hallway is very long and covers half the underground basement. Woo. Just all the way at the end of the hallway because I'll keep going. It's a long yes, hallway. You're going to the end to find the doors. One of bars, the other is flat steel that say Sugar Shack. That's where most, most people get cut up, chopped up. Whatever how you want to put it. Sugar Shack. My goodness. Okay, I'm in that room. Okay, Christina, you feel alright? I do. There's a picture of an Indian on the wall, and I'm happy about it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you that right now, you guys are gonna be really happy. I'm the one that came in here, and none of you, because there is a huge pentacle on the wall in chalk with little ghost eyes painted on it. I actually, I feel okay in here. Whoa. Oh. You feel okay in there, huh? Is that a bat? Was that it's a bird? <laughs> Oh, there was a bat. There's totally a bat in there. <laughs> Don't worry about the hate humans. Oh my god. That was a bat. Right there. Yeah. All right. The safety person and the last team member should go to the Egyptian room. Over. We're on our way right now, Ryan. We'll Egyptian tell you when we get room. there, okay? Over. Go slow, sweetie. Okay. In 1959, the last electrocution occurred in the West Virginia Penitentiary electric chair. And you can still smell the flesh. I mean, the, the it's got a, a distinct smell to it, uh, burnt flesh. All right. The safety person stand, stays in the Egyptian room. Have the last team member squeeze down a narrow corridor to the execution chamber where nine men were put to death. When you're in the room, you'll find the tarp covering something. Pull the tarp off. You can't come with me? No. I'm the safety. All right, we're yeah. gonna go ahead and do what you need to do. And then can I come back? And you, you come back to me, okay? All right, now. Okay. I, th I think we got some romance going, going on. At least I don't remember, so. I don't know if any of these contestants the hooked up or not. Bars, keep going. There's a room at the end. Enter this room. You'll find a tarp. Cover, cover, cover something. Pull the tarp off. Oh, the tarp. What's that? Derek, I want to come back. Oh, no. Derek, there's a person underneath there. There's nobody underneath Yes, there, there is. Wait. Yeah. I looked at it. It looks like there's a person there. There's yeah, I remember. That's, this is the part where everybody here. freaked out. Are you throwing in the towel here? That means you're all done with the rest of the time. If you do it. Um, Lauren's having a little bit of trouble right now. We're trying to decide if she's going to do this or not. She's not quite sure if she wants to do it. Over. Uh -oh. Keep me posted on what's going on. Over. Uh -oh. That is really scary. Baby, don't worry. I can get to you in 10 seconds flat. That is a really scary thing. It's, I, I can get to you in 10 seconds. It's totally cool, okay? Yeah. Everything seems to be pretty cool in here. I don't know. It's just dark and quiet, and I don't really. Oh, spend 15 minutes alone in the sugar shack. Identify any spare, uh, any type of spiritual acti activity. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I need to talk right now. I need to talk right now. Derek, can you tell me how Lauren's doing? Over. Um, Laura's getting ready to do it. We're good to go. Laura, talk to me, baby. This is Steve. Over. Yes, I can hear you. I mean, you're going to be fine, all right? Just take a couple deep breaths, okay? You'll be fine. Uh, 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 uh. Doug, I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, so serious. Please, 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 please. What's going on, Lauren? Okay, got what? yourself a little glow stick. All right. Can you talk Guys, Lauren. Please, please. I'm so ready to go. 
Christina, don't turn back. Hang in there. I don't know. Everybody's doing there. a great job, but Laura's keep can't talking. finish this task, okay? I want someone here now, and I want you to keep talking to me, and I want... Christina, I want, I want, I want, right uh, now, you want to get out of there. She's freaking out in her own world, too. So we, we, we gotta get everyone, like, situated, and then that way, someone will come and get you when you need to be gone, okay? I'm quitting! Get someone now! What? She, she's freaking she out. lost it. Okay? okay? She lost it. I gotta it. talk to her. Don't she lost I'm it. I'm right here. I'm right here. Can you go out the way you came in, Christina? I can't get there. There is no light in here. None. My light on my camera went out. The light everywhere went out. Please. Ooh. Alone in the dark. Something's coming down the hallway. That's probably a person. You just get the hell out of there as fast as you can. Get out of there. The light on my camera went out. I can't see anything. Christina, talk to me, girl. We're on our way, okay? This is Derek. I'm on my way. You have Lauren. You have Lauren with you. Over. Am I correct? Over. Yes, I have Lauren with me. She's right behind me. I'm heading towards Snake Eyes. Hey, Ryan, I need you to tell me what to do. Please. I'm gonna head out of here, okay? Tell me if you guys don't want me to, but I'm gonna go help them too. Over. Hey, you know what, Steve? I'm gonna go get her. Over. Christina! Oh, she's freaking out. Alone in the dark. And that'll do that to you. That will do that to you. Christina! Follow my voice, baby. You're okay, all right? Voice, we're doing great, baby. We're oh doing awesome. man, yeah, okay, okay. I can see now, I can see from your light. Okay, you see my light, just keep following me. I remember this part, but I don't remember it being this intense. Time, all the other lights went out. I don't, that's not, that's not normal. That's not right. I know, for my okay. light to go out, um, and all the other lights to go out. Don't worry about it, don't worry. Come here, give me a hand. I'm out of my mind right now, too. Don't think that, you know. I was fine. I was, I was totally fine until there were no lights and I couldn't leave. Yeah. You can't leave with no lights. No, I know that. Steve, we, we found everybody. Let me ask you a question. Has anyone ever been in that situation where it's just like all the lights just went out and you were someplace that, you know, you're not familiar with and just all the lights went out? Tell me how you handled it in the comments below. Please talk to me. Come meet us outside, brother, okay? Okay. No! Come on, it's okay. Let's hold on tight, right? Come on. Feel the wind to go. Right? Ryan, we're heading all back, heading to Snake Eyes. Um, Derek's radio is out. So, but I think, Snake Eyes. I, I think she was able to complete the mission. I think she was able to complete the dare. Oh, that poor young lady. You doing all right, kiddo? You're doing good. Wow. You know what you're thinking? Hard stomps coming downstairs. Were there even stairs where I was? The lights went down and they, the stomping on the stairs, and I was like, oh, what? what if it was one of them? Don't even worry but then again, they were probably all on the same level. So whatever was going on was going on above her. Fun times, huh? Fun times. I'm not in the slightest bit calm. I'm just thinking, what the hell is gonna happen next? You don't know. Yeah. You know? What? What do you think you can do next? Hopefully not possession. No, <laughs> oh, I'm dead serious. Ooh. We're not talking about that because that's not for you. So? But that's not for you. Nothing's gonna hurt you. Nothing can harm you here. It's just energies. It's just different kinds of energies that we're feeling. Mm -hmm. I've never dealt with like ghosts that are that strong. Yeah. I've dealt with spirits that are that strong, but it's totally different, and I think that's what I came here to learn. If you can't do it, yeah. don't do it, please. I don't know. Listen, just from a Christian point of view, you don't want to be messing with evil spirits, man. That, that nah, don't. Yeah, you, you don't. Yeah, you don't. And if you don't know how to get rid of them, and you don't have the faith. Uh, you know, to to you know to to uh, war against it in prayer, man. Don't mess with it. Don't. And 
and everybody I goes would to never, sleep. I ever do it again, but I don't regret that I did go. I really can honestly say I've dealt with a lot of scary Okay, so she didn't she really didn't I've complete never it. Never dealt with anything like this. If someone wanted to know what hell might feel like, that's the closest I've ever felt to anything you'd call hell. Look, I don't even I don't even know what just happened. Coming up like, on MTV Fear. Horrible. Midnight, night two. Can we see who's going? This is a bad sign. I think this is a bad sign. Oh. If a team member cannot complete his or her dare, another team member must be selected to complete the investigation. I hate that. Do you hear that voice coming out that computer? I've told everybody this. I said, have you ever watched MTV Fear? And the computer that gives the missions and gives the briefings and gives the uh, the, the, the overall uh, background about the place that is haunted. I mean, the way it talks, if a team member cannot complete his or her dare, another team member must be selected to complete the investigation. <laughs> I hate that voice. And it's not even really a monster voice like, if a team member cannot complete his or her dare, another team member must be selected to complete it. No, 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 no. This is just a straight, if a team member cannot complete his or her dare, another team member must be selected to complete the investigation. That, because it's just so unfeeling and no emotion. It doesn't care if you're scared or not. They just want to know if you complete the mission. <laughs> Oh Lord. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a little warmer tonight. Thank you. Yo, girl. Take your time, guys. Oh Lord. Can you guys hear me? Can you just hear that? Yes. Yeah, we okay, cool. We're there, check. Over. Nice sound effects. Over. That's me. Over. Now, I, I know some of you are probably like, okay, well, the sound effects and the music, that's what sets the mood. That if maybe if they didn't have the sound effects and the music, it would probably be a heck of a lot scarier. But this was like, you know, the first time something like this has ever been done. So, Dare complete the investigation of the electro electrocution chamber. So, I, you know what? I think this. I think this guy is not gonna make it either. I think. I'm not sure. Ryan, I don't we're remember. Ready. We're in the Egyptian room. You can go ahead. Okay. Over. Ariana, are you at the sugar shack? Sugar shack. All right. I'm here. Over. The 15 minutes start now. Yeah, I mean, look at all that cartoon, cartoon drawings and everything. In spite of the fact that that's the place where a lot of inmates got messed up by other inmates. Now, that little red dot that you see up in the upper upper right hand side corner that's probably uh indicates the of course the uh security camera you know that you're looking through the view of the security camera yo is she is speaking in tongues what's going on lauren i'm not doing it are you done I think so. Oh no. I think. I think those, like I said, those, whatever you want, girl. You can't do it, you can't do it. Am I gonna be your safety if I do that? No, you're gone. You're done. If you don't complete the task. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, she she did the I dare. I don't know what I just experienced, but I... I don't know, is it, is it, what's it like down there? Horrible. Like, I just experienced something horrible. Yep. Like I don't even I don't even know what just happened to me. All of a sudden I just like 
literally felt something in there. Like, and it was like, and it, it wasn't like a sound, and it wasn't like, it, I felt something horrible just now. And like, so this isn't even like a big one right now. And it's not. These individual ones are the big ones. But we all, I think we all each get like one individual task, like a night. So I mean, you're probably gonna have to go like to death row. Mm. You back in? We don't think any less of you if you do. Yeah. Oh, I know. I just Death don't roll. know how I'm gonna react. What to a brother no. Lauren knows that if she doesn't want to do this, she can quit and appoint me, and I can go in and fill in for her. Over. Oh. Oh, Ryan, here yeah. it comes. Yeah. You can quit and appoint him, and he can go in and fill in. Ryan. If Ryan. she doesn't want to do this and she appoints you to do it, is she done with this whole thing? Does she go home or is she just done with this task? Over. And she is done with for the whole thing. Over. Wow. Wow. No, I'm done. I'm definitely done. I can't believe I just, I don't know, you guys like. I okay, got to take a bathroom break. Okay, and I, I, there's no logical reason why I just left there because I wasn't, it wasn't like I was that scared. I felt something that just was not right. Like I felt mm -hmm. something that just really, I, I can't even explain it. It was like, I cannot be in here. I can't. Mm -hmm. like, this is not like, I, I need to get out of here now. It was like evil. <laughs> well, she made it. I felt like I had like no control of it. You know? And this young lady her. just now, like, couldn't do it. <laughs> Two members have quit, four remain. Okay, okay, I'm about to Coming up I'm about on to MTV it. Fear. I'm now this is the part. This is the part right here. Uh, Lauren couldn't this handle it. is I'm the part. Go to the electrocution room where she was. And tell me when you get to the Egyptian room. Ryan like, is a rock star and on this part right here. Inside, so. Okay, complete Laura's uh, failed attempt. Pull the tarp off the electric chair, spend 15 minutes alone, and detect paranormal activity. Let's go, Ryan. Thank you very much, Steve. Beyond the couch, towards the end of the room, will be a narrow corridor to the left. Have the last team member squeeze down this corridor. He or she will find another chamber at the end. Now, when I tell you that Ryan is the hero of this whole show, I'm not kidding. Watch. No oh, he's there. Over. Can you hear him? Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, I go down. Yeah. And I go to the left. And you just go all mm. the way down. There's room. You go through like a uh, chain link thing, and you'll go through. And there's a room down there. And that's just the room where the no, tarp is. Hanging there. Doing a great job. Okay. Over. So you just go all the way down. Go ahead, Rockstar. You got it. You can hear me if I scream, right? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm 10 seconds away from you, brother. Anything you need, I'm 10 seconds away. Right, you gonna be right there? I'll be right here. Hey, do I go inside of here? Yes, you go inside, you go inside there. there. tell you and then my man's in the back like go platinum you're a rock star go platinum <laughs> yeah. this was like the best part of the whole episode i'm telling you i don't want to pull nothing off of nothing <laughs> that's okay but please do it wait 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 he's gonna do it go platinum have a rock star <laughs> 
<laughs> Have a rock star. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm walking into the room. I am so scared. I've never been this scared in my life. Dog, yeah, just take care of what you take care of. <sighs> This was the best part. Probably the best part out of the entire series. <laughs> Excuse the grainy video, but... Calm down, man. <laughs> I want to do it. You got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys can hear me, right? Right, I can hear you, buddy. Oh, 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 oh,
It will lead you to either electrical equipment or paranormal activity. The more the needle jumps, the more paranormal activity surrounds you. Wow. Now, that that just sounds like a synthesized voice. Just a, 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 The EMF detector responds to electromagnetic fields. Use it like a metal detector. It will lead you to either electrical equipment or paranormal activity. The more the needle jumps, the more paranormal activity surrounds you. What? Imagine that. You, you're in this situation and the computer tells you that. Which means that you literally got to go into the go into the lion's den of ghosts. Yep, if we didn't think we saw anything before, guess what? It's going to show us if we did. Night vision systems. When you find paranormal activity, use the night vision system to scan the area. Ghosts and haunting can appear in the infrared while remaining invisible to the naked eye. In other words, yeah, in other words, they're actually going to see ghosts using this Ghostbuster equipment. And I are going over to Sugar Shack, okay. and we'll be looking for ghosts. Night two. I forget how many nights they do this. All right, Derek, Ariana, we just stepped outside. Get us over. Sugar Shack. Sugar Shack. The Sugar Shack is definitely a repository of extremely negative energy. Okay, buddy, all you need to do is head down to Snake Eyes. Got you, kid. We'll tell you where it's Snake Eyes. Over. We got a call. Not Steve Buster. <laughs> all right, we're walking through Snake Eyes right now. Tell me where to go. Over. All right, that one. You make a right down the first hallway. Follow it all the way to the dead end, which is kind of, was way at the end. You make a right, and there's a dead end. On the left, there's a doorway. Above it, it says the Sugar Shack. All right, we're doing that right now. Over. It's a terrible place. It's eerie. Uh, don't know where it comes from. All right, we're on our way, walking down this long, dark corridor. On our way to the fucking Sugar Shack. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he said. The effing Sugar Shack. What? Do you hear this? <laughs> Where do I go? Where does it go to? Over. You'll hit the end of the hallway and you take a right. And uh, right to your immediate left, there should be a door above it. It says the Sugar Shack. Let me know when you get there. Over. Yeah, we got it. Over. Yep. As soon as you enter the room, and I'll start the first 15 minutes, you're to walk over every area of the hot spot. You can't hang in corners. Use the same walking pattern as if you were mowing the lawn. Okay. You have to cover the whole hot spot. If you skimp, they'll see it on the video. Okay, guys? Okay, we're in the room now. We have to we have to stand here for 15 minutes and use our EMF detector and our laser detector to find out if there are ghosts in here. We're in the room. Over. Mm. I started time. Over. First 15 minutes. All right. This is where like, they're probably the gonna actually see for. some ghosts. See, if you see some, you know it's ghosts, basically. So what is that on the floor? That's blood. Okay, I don't know. It's not blood. It's, it's definitely blood. There. Oh my god, what's on that wall? Yeah. It's a guy. Yeah. I don't know about chicks. I'm seeing some up, oh, dude. Really nah, that was already painted stuff. on the wall. Can I, can I see? Yo, dude, this is crazy, man. You should see this hole with these infrared lights, man. It's up, over. You're doing a great job, guys. You're doing a great job. Now let's walk through the middle of these pillars, yo. Holy, come over here, what is this? I want to be so close to you. Dude, stay close, man. I don't need you to be close, too. Dude, there's a figure. Get close. Oh, yo. Like, it was above my head in the infirmary. It came closer to me. Whoa. Ariana, did you hear Whoa. like sound like someone was walking upstairs like every couple sec like every couple minutes someone walking upstairs? Yes, I did. Okay guys, here's the next part of it. You guys are rock stars and we're gonna keep on doing this. This is the part now where Ryan needs to leave and head out to Snake Guys to head to the outside where we wait. Over. Oh, Ryan gets to leave. <laughs> then spend ten minutes alone. And see if you can see ghosts. Talk to me the whole time, please. Ryan, 
I'm being honest with you, man. Like, I don't know, man. These goggles are freaking me out, man. Because I see too much moving around in these things. I love you guys so, so, so much. Want to touch the hiney. <laughs> Yo, Steve, how you, how you holding up, man? You cool? Ryan, can you hear me? Over. Ryan, can you hear me? Over. Steps. Brian, can you hear me, man? I'm freaking over. Do you hear that noise, man? Steve, you're doing a job, buddy. And you know what, bro? Exactly right now, you're done. You get to get out of there. You just make it through that hall, you just book it. You just get the hell out of there as fast as you can. Out. Dude, that's but I can't breathe right now. Um, this is the craziest thing I've ever encountered in my entire life. I cannot believe if I didn't have these people here with me, I think I might have just cut myself in there. It doesn't harm to myself because I'm freaking. Oh, okay. uh, man, I tell you, man. Oh, man. Let me tell you something, man. I, man, I tell you. I said, man, man. <laughs> man, I tell you, man. I, I, I would have I cut myself, man. I'm freaking. <laughs> Stop your grin and drop your linen. <laughs> Found them. <laughs> oh, you'll put her in charge. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> this is freaking great, man. <laughs> now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> We're some real pretty stuff now, man. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Bishop should go. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I've been talking, I would have like started trying to harm myself. The shadows are all come into the camera. And oh, just, man. I've been in that room. <laughs> Big shout out to shout Bill out Paxton. Out. Rest in peace. Dude, that noise, man. That noise it sounds like this. But only on like some big giant just walking across the stairs like this. Like every, yeah. every couple seconds. Like just... Oh, I'm back. I'm back. He's he is not well. He is not doing it. 2 a.m. Night 2. Most psychics, consider the whole most psychics consider the hole to be the most paranormally active area in the prison. In case you've not already selected it, we want you to investigate it. The first person who went into the hole must now go back into the hole alone. He or she must sit in the metal chair and document paranormal activity using the EMF detector. Electrical and mechanical devices are very prone to failure in certain haunted places. Years ago, they would take them down in here and shackle them to the wall. All they had in this room was a hole in the floor to use the bathroom. They'd be leaving in here for a week, two weeks at a time. Anybody that went to the hole was in danger. Mm. Oh my God. Really? That's like sitting in the electric chair. If they would have told me to sit in that damn electric chair. Hey, Derek, come here. Man. <laughs> No, you need to think Jesus. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> he was like, yeah, let's do it, man. Go alone into the hole and listen to the EMF detector for paranormal activity. I think that's what it said. It faded out. Over. 
Okay, guys, I'm He's down going here into now. the uh, hole. Apparently, the hole is the most the buzzing over. with paranormal activity. <clears throat> I need you to go into the hole, turn off all your lights, your flashlights, and maintain radio silence for 15 minutes and just listen to the EMF detector. Let me know if you Steve, have hold on a second, man. I got to pump myself up for this, okay, brother? I got to pump myself up. I'm outside the hole still. Just hang on a second. I don't know about all this turning off the light. Hold on a second, okay? Yeah, Over. yeah, 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 uh-huh. <laughs> we're here, we're late, and we're being patient with you. And, um, he does not want to go. I don't think anyone would want to go in there. He the definitely don't want to go down there. Come on, rock and roll, buddy. You can do it. I don't remember what happened to this young man. Down to the hole. Welcome to the hole, baby. What's going on? I just, I'm trying to overcome this. This is just intense. Dead man, I can hear and feel your pain. You, Word, because he knows. I can feel you. I know what you are going through. When I was looking at that electric chair, man, I can do exactly what you are going through. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I just thought that I was platinum. You know what I'm saying? I just knew that I was platinum. And me knowing that I was platinum, that helped me straight through. You know what I'm saying? So, so you just know that you are platinum too. With diamonds shining all over you and you just glistening in the dark in that chair. And you will make it through. You will back to the 15 minutes. And you'll be the bomb and you'll get your props. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. I, I, don't I told know. you. That's the reason why Ryan is the whole hero of this right thing. Now, every self-doubting thing in the world is coming right at you. And... He's going to come in when I reach right. Woo! Mm. Just give me a yell if you can still, if you still got frequency. I just want to make sure you're still there. Over. I'm still here, guys. I'm coming back. I'm coming back right now. I just want to. Oh man. This wasn't supposed to happen. I wasn't supposed to. I can't believe this. I absolutely cannot believe it. Wow. He's upset because he allowed fear to get to him. He knows, he knows he's better than that. But hey, listen, considering the situation. I mean, come on. No, this is ridiculous. Let's see. Come on, come here, come here. Let's read the next deck, okay? Put, put your camera down. Put your camera down. Come, have a seat right here. Derek, congratulations. Congratulations. You have completed your investigation of the prison's haunting. However, if you have not completed the previous steps, you must remain in the prison until they are done. Are you kidding me? Ooh. Don't you hate that? I mean, the, the, I mean, the computer just says, you gotta, you can't, you, 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 you. in other words, you cannot leave the prison until they are done. <laughs> oh. Someone else, it has to be the person who went there before. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Look at me, Derek. We're a yeah. team, yeah, yeah. Take a but breather. we are each in this individually to face our own fears. You got balls, man. Whether you believe it or not, and you say things get the best of you, you don't. This doesn't get the best of you. This place gets the best of anybody. You are a strong will person. Mm -hmm. You care about other people. You're a leader, and you don't like to let people down. But this is not about us. This is about you, and I think that's... He is literally the Red Power Ranger. I mean, tell me if he doesn't look like... Tell me he does not kind of resemble Austin St. John just a little bit. He's literally the Red Power Ranger right now. <laughs> oh, man. That's what the problem is. I think that when you go in there, you're putting pressure from us on yourself that we are not putting on you. This is for you. You have to go. If you want to do this, you have to go into that hole and in, uh, sit in that chair for yourself. That's right. This is a tiny little cup. 
خوابیم میبیسیم Is he gonna do it? I don't remember him doing it. Damn hole. Damn hole. Damn hole. Damn hole. It's just a hole. It's a hole. It's a hole. Dang hole. Dang hole. Here we go. I, I, as I said a couple of times, I don't remember if he finished this or not. I just remember Ryan finishing that I'm one. I'm now in the hole, guys. With, with the, the electric hole. chair. Cause I'm like totally watching this part like it's brand new now. Go ahead and start it, Steve. Can you hear me? Over. Steve, can you hear me? Over. Guys, I have, I have a bad feeling right Coming up on MTV Sphere. Look, he's doing the running, man. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Another team member will have to go should he, he or she fail. Baby, we are here. Derek, oh my God, we are dancing for you. hundred percent, we got so bad. Go ahead and start the time. We're starting the time, buddy. You need to get in there, okay? Yeah, we're in there. Yeah. All right, all right. And it's like he can't close his eyes or anything like that to try to block anything out. He literally has to, like, sit there and detect any kind of ghosts of paranormal activity, spirits, whatever. He's two minutes in. Two minutes, two minutes in. Two minutes in, yes. They're going to get paid. They're going to get paid. Exactly. I know, I know there. You may think that this is easy and you may think that we're tripping and, and bugging and we're a bunch of babies, but this is no joke. I'm, I, I believe it. I believe it. Singing to the ghosts. Five, four, three, two. Derek, can you hear me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Derek! Oh, what happened to him? I can't remember. I can't remember what happened to him. Guys, I have, I have a bad feeling. Right? Derek, can you hear me over? Can they go rescue him? Did they go rescue him? Derek, Derek, Derek please. Can we go get him? God, Derek. Derek. This is not cool. Okay, he's way, oh, he's no longer there, so. He's on his way back. He's gotta be on his way back. Yeah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he played him. 
He played him. Completed investigation. Yeah, yeah. Well, they did it. I don't know if this place is just horrible and there's just a lot of evil here in general. Like, just what went on here. Remaining I team, declare result guilt, of your but, um, investigation. In, is this prison shot, haunted? If any place is haunted, man, and this place is, um, I don't think that this place is haunted. I feel that it is very, very scary. And the preconceived notion that it may, it was rumored to be haunted, that really is what plays on your mind. Yeah, I that this place it's is a mental. With our own fears, like everything that we bring into here, our own trepidation and our own fear that we have within ourselves, is the thing that's going to haunt us the most. Word, word. They did it. They did it. They did it. We got the money, but it's not even about the money. Mm -hmm. It was was a lesson. I don't want to change so much fear. The next thing that I'm afraid of in life, you know, I just take that energy and overcome the next thing. I just feel so grateful for my life, and I don't want to build walls for myself, and I'm not gonna down. They're going home $3,000 each richer, or the, uh, the $3,000 is supposed to go to the other ones that left. I think everything is gonna get split fear, down the fear middle. Is following you, and that's what haunts you. The thing, the thing you have to fear the most is, is how haunted you are. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, listen, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? All right, so what do you guys think, man? Do you think that that place was actually haunted or not? Do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in the paranormal? Do you have any kind of experiences with spirits or anything like that? Talk about it in the comments below. I'm H.B. Gibson, and this was a very, very special episode of Saturday Night Chiller. Chiller. Until next time, we're going to do this recurring. We're going to have recurring episodes of us watching episodes of MTV Sphere. In the meantime, make sure that if you know of a scary video that you want me to react to, please put it in the comments below, okay? Help me out, and I'll definitely give you a shout. See you next time. Bye-bye.